friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Something entirely different for you. Do you know what this is? <laughs> or this? No, they're not potatoes. They kind of look like potatoes a little bit. We found 15 of them so far. And there's plenty more in the trees. Trees is a giveaway. Their pawpaw fruit is what they are, pawpaw, P-A-W-P-A-W. -W. It's a North American native fruit tree. It's the largest naturally grown fruit in North America. In other words, I guess you'd say indigenous to North America, whatever. But, uh, you know, I'm nowhere near an expert on plants and, and botany and that type, type of thing. So all I'm doing is showing you what little bit I do know about it and that is that we find them here on our farm we find them down by the river they're generally in lower areas uh, down near creeks streams rivers maybe even ponds I'm not sure about that but uh, generally around water definitely we find them along our creek beds and uh, down by the river now that could just partly be because those are the places that don't get cut down much you know uh, obviously you're not going to find them out in your fields, but uh, I, I, I don't recall ever seeing one up in the middle of the woods anywhere, but uh, we definitely see them along our gravel road driving in here because, uh, again, that's in a low-lying, uh, swampy type area, but uh, that's where you generally find them. I haven't tasted these yet. I'm not exactly sure they're 100% ripe. Uh, my wife and my granddaughter went out and picked these and generally when they fall off the tree that's about the moment they're ripe but about that time something usually gets them like a coon or a possum or a skunk or something or you know some, something that will eat a fruit deer even probably the leaves of the pawpaw tree the way i understand it uh, not much will eat those uh, apparently there's a natural insecticide in the leaves and people actually do make some sort of a natural insecticide from the leaves i haven't tried that yet though we may give it a try down the road this one here seems to be the softest one that generally means it's probably the one that's edible <laughs> but before i try eating one of these let's go out into the field and I'll show you what the pawpaw tree actually looks like so here's what the pawpaw tree looks like we just happen to have one right on the edge of the property that we can drive right to here this that little skinny tree there and you come up and the leaves are long elongated they look a little bit like a uh, hickory leaf, except they're generally longer. They're a little bit on the waxy side. They don't really have any serrations around the edges. They're kind of smooth. Now we'll come in closer and show you what an actual pawpaw looks like. You can see it right there, just about in the center of your screen. You can see the pawpaw up there hanging right by that dead limb that's kind of laying up there next to it. Then if you look, here's a much smaller pawpaw tree growing right over here. And you can see the long leaves and the, that'll give you an idea of what you're looking for. And even those little trees sometimes will produce fruit. You just have to really watch. Well, here's the weird thing about me. I don't like fruit. I, I don't like any raw fruit. Let's put it that way. Um, I don't eat bananas, apples, anything that are raw. After they're cooked, I like them. I don't like them raw. I don't know why that is. It's just one of my idiosyncrasies. I have eaten these raw and I actually did like them. I haven't eaten one in at least 10 years. It, it's probably been at least that long. It's gonna be kind of like a new experience again. Here we go. <laughs> You'll probably see me make all kinds of faces. Let's start by cutting this little gem open. 
and you know some people just break them open or whatever but I figure why not just cut it open since that'll make less of a mess and show you a little bit better how they're made and what what they look like on the inside their seeds are gigantic I'm hitting uh, something hard up here at the stem that's probably another big seed yeah, here's one of the seeds they're really big so let's see if we can break this open now maybe I need to cut it a little deeper yet the seeds make it hard to cut there you go this is exactly the way I remember it from the last time they're very smooth on the inside um, it's it's to me the texture is almost like an orange sherbet ice cream texture it's it's a very smooth texture so let's try a little taste here and see if I can handle it I don't have any spoons here in the in the shop I didn't think that far ahead so I've got these little glue spreaders that were in the bag they're you know clean enough for me <laughs> I mean after all I'm eating something that fell on the ground <laughs> Like I said, I'm not real big on fruit, period, unless it's been cooked. So, here we go. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's really, actually, really good. I, it just, it's, it's, it's almost like ice cream. It's that smooth. It, there's like no texture to it, which is why I think I like this versus everything else that's a fruit that has texture. I mean, bananas... You know, not much texture, but I, even I can sort of eat a banana, but I'm not real big on it. This is actually really good. I mean, it's, I would say if you like fruit at all, you would love this. It, it tastes, I don't know, it's, it's got its own taste. But to me, there's a hint of citrus and banana and, and seriously, almost like a, orange sherbet ice cream it's it's actually really good I you know I'm not a fruit person as I said but I can eat this hmm man sorry you're not here <laughs> you would really like this <laughs> I uh, I'm amazed how good it is Wow. I, I think there's a few online recipes. My wife just found a recipe for making some bread. I think that's what she, her plan is to do with most of them. And I think they found 15 total so far, but there's still a lot in the trees. This is about the time, and, and by the way, I will tell you, they don't last long. So if you're really interested in them, you need to get out there right now and get to looking, because uh, they don't last long. And the ones that are on the ground, Actually, the worse they look, almost the better they are. Uh, so, I mean, like, just because they got black spots on them and stuff, don't, don't throw them away. You know, try them because, you know, the ones that are still green and hard, you definitely don't want those. You definitely want the ones that are soft. thought you might get a kick out of seeing how many seeds are in one. There's two, four, six, eight, ten... 12, 13 seeds in this one little pawpaw. So, and look how big the seeds are. So you can tell there's not a lot of real estate left in there for the fruit. It's, uh, it's mostly a seed pod is what it is. That's a lot of seeds and those are huge seeds. So I hope you enjoyed a little detour there, taking a look at uh, some pawpaws and the pawpaw tree and their seeds. Thanks for watching.